What's up guys, welcome back. So the 2020s have brought us a lot of innovation in the way that we integrate with our vehicles. Now we have things like Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, reverse cameras, dash cams, phone connectivity, which most of this stuff isn't really available for older cars, as well as some modern cars. Well, with this, you can literally have all of that without altering or modifying any of your current setup in any way. This is the RC13 smart screen from Lamto, and it's not really a head unit. It's a completely different kind of standalone unit that you can pretty much mount anywhere. And really all you need to use use this is a standard radio because it does have an FM transmitter built in but at from 100 to 150 dollars for all of those features how does it stand up let's go ahead and let's thoroughly check this thing out all right now just to show how versatile the RC 13 is I'm gonna actually hook it up to my pioneer elite head unit which is out here in the garage we're gonna set it up on the bench and basically we'll go through the features and how to navigate this show you the different modes of output as far as audio then I'm gonna actually go out and install the backup camera as well as the main unit into my 2006 Chevy Colorado okay, so taking a quick look at the actual unit we can see there's really not too much going on there is this is the front facing camera and it does go up and down and it does swivel. And you can see there's a little grill kind of back here. That's because there are actually two internal built in speakers. And then these slots right here are actually very important. These allow you to connect your base. They slide in, they are removable. All you have to do is just pop this out if let's say you had this in a vehicle and you were going in somewhere or you were in a rough neighborhood or something and uh, you wanted to take this with you. It doesn't screw on, it can be easily detached. That's one of the cool things about this. Again, looking at it, there's really not too much. Everything that resides over here is pretty much all of the hookups you're gonna need. There's a 3.5 millimeter auxiliary output. There is a slot for a TF card for holding. Uh, dash cam footage and audio files, stuff like that. And then we have our Type-C charging port, which Lamto has affectionately named the Power Hole, which I thought was awesome. I knew a girl once. Then this little tiny hole right over there is actually what you stick a little pin in to that, and that is a button that actually resets the whole entire unit. So now to demonstrate this, I actually have a 3.5 millimeter cable going to my stereo as well as a five volt uh, input for power. So there we'll hook up the power. Oh, that's pretty quick. Oh, that's cool. That's what my car looks like. No, not really. All right, and so I do have a 3.5 millimeter to RCA going to my Pioneer Elite. All right, that's hooked up to the head unit. Now, pretty much all you have to do to connect this, um, this is usually always in pairing mode. So you're gonna wanna bring down the, your Bluetooth. Comes up T86 Pro A218. Just go ahead and pair. Okay, just took a couple tries. So now we are connected. I have some music queued up. All right, so that's one way of connectivity if you do have an auxiliary input. If you do not have an auxiliary input, what you can do, go to this one right here, and then go to FM, and now you can set literally any uh, frequency you want, and then set your radio to that, and then it should connect. Let's try this, so let's see what it does. It's popping us into Android Auto because it's co connecting on my phone. We're just going to exit out of that. I'm going to disable Android Auto for now just to make it a little bit easier for the rest of the demonstration. Now you also have Bluetooth Auto and you also have the internal speaker. Let's check that out. Now there should be a volume control. That's all the way up. I mean, not the loudest, but it's there. Right, so now basically, some of the other navigational things, there is screensaver, driving position, brightness, which you can turn up and down, your assistive touch. We already showed that clears all the connections going to it. You can change your wallpaper, which I haven't even looked at any of them. Let's go through them. There's three. 
I like that one. That's the one I'm going to choose. And then you have a lot of different options for your camera, mainly the reverse camera and the front camera. Basically anything you're going to want to change with your uh, front facing and rear facing cameras. Then you have just your system options, language. Um, this did have the annoying beep sound, which I turned off. You do that right there on tip sound. That's where you set the date and time, info for your storage. This is where you reformat. Uh, it usually will make any device run better when you reformat it. Factory reset and your version of your firmware and all of that. Basically, if you ever want to get out of anything and go back to the main screen, just hit the home. That's what that is. It goes back home. There's the power button, which actually just shuts off the screen. It doesn't actually shut the whole thing off. This is for brightness up and down. This one goes to your camera, which... Actually, so far from what I've been looking at, uh, the camera doesn't seem too bad. I'm really interested in seeing how the reverse camera looks. And then basically to get out of camera, there's a bunch of different settings down here. Just hit your home. And then basically all there is is these six up here, which is your Apple CarPlay, Android Cast, Android Auto, audio output. Now, this audio output is how you get to change from auxiliary, FM, Bluetooth audio, and then the internal speaker. And then you have your AirPlay as well as your playback. This is pretty much how you access your audio files that you have on your inserted SD card. So that's pretty much all of the navigation of this thing in a nutshell. What I'm interested in is seeing how the reverse cam works and how this actual front camera actually works. So let's go ahead and let's hook this up in the truck. Okay, sorry about the wind. Had to put this, uh, sunscreen up so we could actually see the screen but i have it kind of all mocked up the very good thing about this base or uh this dashboard mount base is that it actually flexes and it's pretty stout too so it will kind of contour to the curvature of pretty much any dash but pretty much here we have everything all hooked up i have another phone which is actually queued up to nethix of course and uh, just to test audio i have our auxiliary out going to my regular uh, Pioneer head unit and I also have the reverse cam. So there it is installed. It should be noted that this little connector connects from that whole wire but uh, the red wire just connects to your reverse lamp. So this is not a full install video. For a full install video on how to properly install a backup camera, check out this video up here. So let's go ahead and check that out. So we have the truck on. Put it in reverse. There we go. And I'll tell you what, it does look pretty good i'm not gonna lie at all i was actually kind of questioning that it does take a second to come back after you go back into drive but this center one like i said is for ha huh, it's covered up but it'll give you a split screen and the front looks really good as well as the back looks really good i'm actually very very surprised at that so now basically just go back okay and then uh i mean that's about it this thing i mean Something that comes to mind is, you know, classic cars where you don't want to change your uh, regular radio that you have in there, you know, that's kind of custom or, you know, original to the car. You can just have this. And the good thing is, is that FM transmitter, you don't need anything other than an FM radio. So this is all just kind of mocked up, but I do have our PowerPoint powering it up, as well as, like I said, the auxiliary input. Now this does also come with that other attachment that can actually attach to the windshield or windscreen, wherever you're from, uh, and it has a suction cup. That would also be pretty optimal to use for a lot of situations. My only thing is how much space this takes up. Um, I thought it was going to be a lot, but honestly, I could live with this. It's kind of hard to tell because I have this covering it, but it doesn't really impede your vision too much. And it's kind of better, you know, it being right there, because if you do happen to go into Android Auto and you're depending on your maps, you know, for navigation, it's really nice just kind of having it right over there, you know, at eye level. You're not sitting looking down or looking up or any way, you know, trying to figure out where you're at. So all in all, I was really skeptical, skeptical on a lot of different things like sound output, stuff like that, which I don't think we did yet. This is Nethix, born a rock star like I always use from the YouTube library. Wow. Okay. So off the bat, I was worried because when I had this hooked up in there, it didn't seem like there was a lot of low frequencies. Well, we had it into a CD input, and this is more for like an auxiliary input. So it's line level coming out, it's different. So 
this works just fine if you have an auxiliary cable. Um, it did seem a little scratchy on the FM, but that I guess would just be determined to how strong your FM receiver is. All in all, I mean, if this thing holds up, this thing is actually pretty cool and uh, really surprised me. And I think this could, you know, really be a game changer for a lot of people for certain situations that they may need, you know, Android Auto or, you know, navigation or just be able to play music from your phone to your radio. Like I said before, things like classic cars, I don't know, jalopies, snowmobiles, <laughs> side-by-sides, golf carts, any of that, you know, you can just hook this up and, uh, you know, you're off to the races, literally. But that's about it for now. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys are interested in this, there will be links down in the description. And uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Go ahead and like, comment, subscribe if you like any of this. Or uh, if you're just, maybe if you're feeling nice. But anyways, I appreciate you all very much. Thank you so much. Any questions, let me know. And have a good day. And again, I really appreciate you. And I love you. Bye. <laughs> the power. <laughs> that is gnarly. The power.